Okay, everybody, this lesson I'll relate multiplication and division. So we'll have a couple of examples here. So uh, there's our common core strand, and so how can we use multiplication to divide? So here's an example. Sue loves popsicles. So do I. Uh, for the last six days, she has eating, eaten the same number of popsicles each day. She ate 18 popsicles. How many popsicles did she eat each day? Okay, so this is actually um, 18 divided by 6. So what do we need to find? Well, this last question right here, how many popsicles she needs each day? And then we're going to underline the information. So we need to find out how many popsicles she eats each day. And so to underline the information, well, for the last six days, so six days, same number of popsicles on each day, and she ate 18 total right here. So that's the stuff that we need to do. So one way is we're going to use bar models. So we can use bar models uh, to understand how multiplication and division are related. So here we go. So we're going to complete the bar model to show 18 popsicles divided into six equal groups. Okay, so each day she eats the same amount right here. So here's six equal groups right here. Well, since uh, six is an even number and 18 is an even number, I can go ahead and cut those guys in half, you guys. So right here, these three right here would represent half of the 18, which is nine popsicles. And th these three would be the other nine popsicles. And so nine divided by uh, three equal pieces right there is uh, three, three, three. So she has uh, three popsicles that day, three, 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 three. So she's going to have three popsicles every day right there, okay? All right, so there we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to write 18 divided by 6. So here's 18 popsicles divided by 6 of these equal bars. And so it's going to give us each one of those bars has 3 in there, okay? All right, so Sue eats 3 popsicles each day. Well, easy enough. Okay, so what if the problem said Sue ate popsicles for 6 days? And for each day, she ate three popsicles. So it's kind of the reverse. How many popsicles did she eat in all? Okay, so here we're going to complete this bar model to show uh, six groups of three popsicles. So this is kind of the inverse of this problem right here. It's the same problem, but just rewording it a little bit differently. So for every uh, six, six days in a row, she had three popsicles, three popsicles, three, 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 three. So how many total popsicles? Three plus three is six. 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18 popsicles. So in 6 days she had 18 popsicles right there, okay? So this would be 6 times 3 because there's 6 3's all together. 6 times 3 would be 18. Do you see how uh, multiplication and division are related to each other? So multiplication and division are called opposite operations or inverse operations. So we can use multiplication to solve division problems. So for example, if if we didn't do this problem before and they asked us 18 divided by 6 equals what number, you can just think of, well, just go backwards, you guys, and do 6 times what number would get us 18. So 6 times what number equals 18. And so 6 times 3 equals 18. So if 6 times 3 equals 18, then 18 divided by 6 would be 3. Okay, here's another way. We're going to use an array like we did in the last lesson. So we can use an array to, to see how multiplication and division are related. So here we can show an array with 18 counters, three in each row, so we, uh, by completing the drawing. Okay, so here's we're going to do 18 counters. So these red guys are three of them. So we're going to do 18. So I'm going to fill these up with red. So there's um, uh, three equal rows. So I'm just going to keep going over here until I get 18 counters right here. Okay, so there's three red ones. Here's three more. So now we have six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus three is 12. 12 plus three is 15. Finally, 15 plus three is 18. So there's our 18 counters in three equal rows right here. Remember, this is a row when it goes sideways. So here's one row. Here's another row. Here's another row right there. So there's 18 counters with three equal rows. So how many counters are in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six counters in each row. Okay, so uh, we can write 18 divided by 3 equals 6 right there. All right, so the same array that we just have right here, this array right here can be used to find the total number. If you knew that there were three rows, one, two, three, with six counters in each row, because there's six counters in each row, 
then that's the same as uh, 3 times 6, and 3 times 6 will give us that 18 right there. All right, so multiplication and division, they're inverse operations of each other, so if you get stuck on one, you can just think of, uh, think of the other operation. All right, you guys? Okay, take care.